Welcome, fellow enthusiasts of the iconic 1966 TV series that brought Gotham City to life on the small screen. As we embark on a nostalgic journey, let me pose a question. Which classic Hollywood actor from this legendary show left an indelible mark on your memory? Was it the charismatic Adam West as the Cape Crusader, or perhaps the suave Cesar Romero as the Joker? Before we dive into the intricacies of this beloved series, let's reminisce together. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the adventures that unfolded in the crime-ridden streets of Gotham? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's set the stage for some random facts about this groundbreaking show. Did you know that the 1966 Batman series, despite its tongue-in-cheek approach, played a crucial role in shaping the cultural perception of the Dark Knight? The show's unique blend of campiness and comic book allure left an indelible mark on pop culture, introducing Batman to a wider audience and paving the way for future adaptations. As we unravel the layers of this classic series, consider the dynamic chemistry between Adam West's Batman and Burt Ward's Robin. The on-screen partnership between the dynamic duo became synonymous with the show's success, creating a legacy that endures to this day. So, whether you're a seasoned fan or a newcomer to the Batcave, join us in celebrating the legacy of the 1966 Batman series. Share your thoughts, favorite moments, and reflections in the comments below. Your stories are the threads that weave the fabric of this enduring cultural phenomenon. The Batcave set, a crucial backdrop in the 1966 TV series, holds an interesting connection to King Kong. Positioned precisely where the Skull Island Gate stood in the King Kong film, the Batcave's location was revealed by a visitor who had worked on Kong's set. The gate, a relic from the past, was originally part of the cinematic portrayal of the burning of Atlanta in Gone with the Wind. This unforeseen overlap of iconic sets adds a unique layer to the legacy of the Batman series. Interestingly, the show's lead, Adam West, faced a notable career crossroads due to its immense popularity. He turned down the opportunity to play James Bond in On Her Majesty's Secret Service, asserting that a British actor should assume the role. The part eventually went to Australian actor George Lazenby. The plot of this Bond film, particularly the relationship between Bond and a crime lord's daughter, served as partial inspiration for the characters Raz Al Ghul and Talia. Christopher Nolan, director of the Dark Knight trilogy, has acknowledged On Her Majesty's Secret Service as his favorite Bond film. In the realm of cultural influence, Batman has not been immune to controversy. Dr. Frederick Wortham's 1953 book targeted comic books, including Batman, as purported sources of immorality. Wortham's claims contributed to modern-day jokes about Batman's sexuality. Adam West vehemently opposed these insinuations, asserting they were never part of the show creator's intentions. The 1966 Batman series, with its quirky set origins and the pivotal career decision of its lead actor, has left a lasting impact on popular culture, weaving connections to classic films and becoming a subject of cultural critique. Bird Ward, who portrayed a key character in the 1966 TV series, faced significant risks during production. Ward disclosed enduring burn injuries and shrapnel hits from misguided pyrotechnics, including being ejected from the Batmobile during a sharp turn. This behind-the-scenes peril adds a gritty layer to the show's glamorous facade. The challenges weren't limited to Ward. The production itself faced hurdles. The show's delayed appearance on DVD shelves until 2014 stems from a legal clash between 20th Century Fox and Time Warner. Fox, the show's producer, and Time Warner, the owner of DC Comics, engaged in a rights dispute. Only after a negotiated deal did Warner Home Entertainment officially release the series, with Fox still claiming a share of the profits. This legal tussle, unknown to many fans, reveals the intricate battles off-screen that mirrored the superhero drama on screen. Amid casting choices, Suzanne Plachette was initially considered for the iconic Catwoman role, later secured by Julie Newmer. This casting insight sheds light on the intricate decision-making process behind bringing characters to life. The untold stories behind the scenes, from risky stunts to legal clashes, form a compelling backdrop to the 1966 TV series, enriching its legacy and cultural impact. Burgess Meredith, known for his role as the Penguin in the 1966 TV series, made a surprising cameo in The Monkees Season 2, Episode 25, Monkees Blow Their Minds. However, he sported a black top hat instead of his iconic purple one, and his trademark prosthetic nose was notably absent. 
This unexpected crossover highlights the enduring impact of the 1966 Batman series beyond its own realm. The show, while iconic, had connections that stretched into other popular TV productions of its time. Burgess Meredith's appearance as the Penguin in a different show adds a layer of intrigue to the cultural influence of Batman during that era. The intricate web of connections between actors and characters from the 1966 series and other television shows provides a fascinating glimpse into the interconnected nature of Hollywood during that period. These unexpected cameos serve as a testament to the lasting legacy of the Batman series and its enduring influence on popular culture. In the dynamic world of the iconic TV series, contract disputes brought unexpected twists. Frank Gorshin, the original Riddler, missed an episode due to a contract dispute, making way for John Astin. Interestingly, an episode initially slated for the Riddler featured the Puzzler. Gorshin eventually returned for a final season stint as the Riddler. Adam West, a cornerstone of the series, likened Batman's impact to the 60s triumvirate of cultural influence. The Beatles, Bond, James Bond, and Batman, three big BS that shaped the era. While Batman battle villains, Robin added a quirky touch. With 352 holy phrases, from holy agility to holy Zorro, Robin's exclamations became a distinctive aspect of the series. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into contract disputes, cultural impact, and Robin's linguistic quirks underscore the multifaceted legacy of the series. The intricacies of the show's production, its cultural resonance, and the unique quirks of its characters continue to resonate, adding depth to the enduring influence of this television classic. Before hitting the airwaves, the 1966 TV series Batman faced an uphill battle. It garnered the worst audience test scores in Ab's history, nearly dooming the Cape Crusader before he even took flight. Only the significant investment already poured into the show saved it from the cutting room floor. Despite the rocky start, Batman quickly soared into popular culture. However, with fame came unexpected consequences. In England, after the series began airing, a concerning trend emerged children attempting to fly like Batman. Several youngsters ended up injured, prompting Adam West in his Batman role to film a stern announcement, emphasizing that even he couldn't defy gravity. The escapades of Gotham's finest were not to be imitated. Meanwhile, Cesar Romero, who portrayed the Joker, had a peculiar approach to his iconic role. Refusing to part with his mustache, he opted to paint over it instead. The show's quirks extended beyond the screen, adding layers to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of this cultural phenomenon. In the end, the 1966 TV series Batman proved that initial setbacks could be overcome, cementing its place in television history. As we close the Batcave doors on our nostalgic journey through the riveting adventures of the Cape Crusader, take a moment to traverse the winding streets of Gotham that echo with the laughter of the Riddler and the enigmatic whispers of Catwoman. The 1966 television series, a beacon in the annals of pop culture, beckons you to reflect on the indelible imprints it has left on the very fabric of our imaginations. In the bat-shadowed corridors of your memory, what vignettes of heroism and hilarity linger? Was it the dynamic duo's zany escapades or the flamboyant villains who left you gasping with delight? Perhaps it's the vibrant aesthetic, a kaleidoscope of colors that painted Gotham in a palette as bold and daring as the Dark Knight himself. Let your thoughts soar like the bat signal against the velvety sky. Share your fondest memories, your chuckles at the Joker's antics, and the pulse-quickening moments when danger hung in the air like a question mark. Unearth the hidden treasures of your connection to this iconic series, and let the Batmobile of nostalgia race down the lanes of your mind. Our Batcave may be virtual, but the memories forged within its pixelated walls are as real as the Batmobile's purr. So, fellow enthusiasts, let's gather around the digital fireplace and swap tales of our encounters with the campy crusaders and their colorful rogues gallery. Thank you for embarking on this retro journey with us, unwinding the reel of memories that binds us across time and space. Your reflections light up the night, much like the bat signal piercing the Gotham darkness. Until we meet again in the shadows of nostalgia, keep those memories close and the bat legacy alive.